to say kwamba the reason why church the church of Kenya shall not have a voice over BBI is because the voice of the church is muzzled. The church of Kenya has been gone through judgments. We have supported the hand of the wicked in Kenya. And as a result, God has judged Kenya and also God has judged the church. ya leo ni kumdhihirisha Yesu manifesting Jesus kupitia karama na mwito ambazo umezipokea so tumepewa mwito tumepewa karama tumepewa vipawa so karama hizo mwito pamoja na vipawa inatangaza ukuu wake Yesu na inamfunua Yesu na inafunua Yesu. So mahubiri ya leo ni mahubiri ya ukomavu sana. So Mungu akupe neema uyashike kwa undani. Na sio siku zote utasalia kwa mtoto kiroho. Siteba utara mambo. Vitango vini vitatu. Gifts of the gift of ministry. karama za huduma gifts of ministry ni karama za huduma zote zinapeanwa na Yesu Kristo shika hii maana watu wenye karama kama ushiki mahubiri isema vitu kwa watu tunaonekana wewe ni mwana wazimu so karama na vipawa za huduma ndio kitengo cha kwanza kisha kitengo cha pili ni spiritual gifts karama za roho restoration gifts ni vipawa vya ufufuo vipawa vya ufufuo haleluya sasa nataka tujue kwamba hmm? maisha haya watu wengi hatujamjua Yesu ni nani We don't know who is Jesus. Na ndio maana wana wetu kanisani hawako serious. Watoto wetu wa Sunday school wakikuja kanisani hawako serious. Then kuna watu wanakuja kanisani wamechelewa hawako serious. Mbona? Mbona mtu anaweza kuja kanisani na umechelewa lakini usihukumike? Dhamira yako haikuhukumu. Roho yako haikuhukumu. Mbona? Ni kwa ajili kwamba kuna kuna ufahamu kumhusu Yesu ambao haujui. Mbona unaweza kuja mavalia mavazi mabaya? Oh, because you are a young man that the fact that you are a young man I rushu kwamba you just put on anything. Alafu nakuja nazo kanisani. One time nilikuwa na Peter nilikuwa kwa kwa matatu nilikuwa na Eh, dada amevaa nguo rinda mzuri tu ni mrefu mpaka chini lakini nyuma yake nyuma ya rinda kuna picha ya mdomo eh, midomo ama mdomo wa dada ama msichana ama mwanamke midomo mdomo ule umepakwa 
Hii vitu mnapakanga mdomo na rangi. Inaitwaje hii rangi ya mdomo? Tena ilikuwa nyekundu kama hii kiketi. Lipstick kwa mdomo both juu na chini. Alafu maandishi ile imeandikwa pale na ujio kwamba sehemu hiyo ya mdomo ime kwenye kwa makalio. Kiuno chake kudi chini. Ndio hiyo picha imechorwa. Alafu imeandikwa kiss me. Kiss me. Yaani ni busu. Na ni vazi enye na rangi Nzuri, so it's a flowery dress. Vijano na pina nguo kama hizo. Imeandikuwa, I am hot. Ama, I am available. Hizo te inawambine ni meziona. Ngine imeandikuwa, try me. T-shirts kwa kifua. Try me. Yane ni jaribu. Vile tunangine mungina hame kuja nao kanisani mandi kwa I love you babe. Nimeyona one of our youth hameva hiyo. Hameva teacher tumtayona bada ibada. So mtasorora vijana wote wane nani huya hameva teacher mandi kwa I love you babe. So I wonder whether that babe is here or is she somewhere else. So vijana wetu. Kila mzazi ukipokea mahubiri haya. Check out. Ni nini mtoto wako hameva. Aki kuja kanisani, maana ata kuwaibisha. Kila mwana ume, muke wako wa kivaku wako wako nyumbani. Please, kagua mevaaje, maana utoleza na baba, sana levaa hivi ulikuwa wapi. Mambo haya tunayafanya maana, hatuja funuliwa Yesu ni nani. Kanisa ni nani. Kanisa ni mwili wake Yesu Kristo. So the church is the body of who? Of Jesus. So mwili wa Yesu, kama untaku yona. Hallelujah. Ben, then ni wewe ndio semu yao. So kuna watu wana picha mbaya ya Yesu, kuna watu wana picha mzuri ya Yesu, kuna watu wana picha kamili ya Yesu, kuna watu wana picha pungufu, yake Yesu. Picha hiyo inachangiwa na ni nani anayekuhubiria Yesu? Ni nani anakufunulia Yesu? Nani? So kama ulifunuliwa Yesu vibaya shuleni ndio utatembea nayo. So lazima upate mchungaji na upate kanisa. Lazima upate mchungaji na upate kanisa. Aya waifeso fungua msari sura nene. Sura nene. Na nomba mwenye biblia kiswahili atusome. Kwanzea mstari wa mstari wa saba. Hadi kumi na sita. Saba hadi kumina sita. Kwa Efeso ine saba kwendelea mandika inasema. Lakini kila mmoja wetu alipewa neema kwa kadri ya kipimo te kipawa chake kristo. Hivo, hivo husema. Chini za inji na ye alie shuka ndie yeye alie pa juu sana kupita mbingu zote. Hili avijase vitu vyote na ye alitowa wengine kuwa mitume na wengine kuwa manabi na wengine kuwa wainjilisti na wengine kuwa wajungaji na waalimu. Kwa kusudi la kuwakamilisha watakatifu hata kazi ya huduma itendeke hata mwili wa kristo ujengwe hata na sisi sote tutakapo ufikia umoja wa imani na kumfahamu sana mwana wa mungu hata kuwa mtu mkamilifu hata kufika kwenye cheo takimo cha utimilifu wa kristo ili tusiwe tena watoto wa changa tukitupa huku na huku na kuchukuliwa 
kuliwa na kila upepo wa elimu kwa hila ya watu kwa, u, kwa ujanja tukisifata njia za udanganyifu lakini tuishike peli katika upendo na, ku, na kukua hata tumfikie yeye katika yote yeye aliye kichwa Kristo katika yeye mwili wote ukiunga ukiungamanishwa na kushikamanishwa kwa mzaada wa kila kiungo kwa kadri ya utendaji wa kila sehemu moja moja huukuza huukuza mwili upate kujichenga mwenyewe katika upendo amen haleluya now english will be saying verse number 7 and to, and to every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of christ but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of christ now mark the word the gift of christ wherefore he said when he ascended up on high he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men so now he that ascended what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth so he that descended is the same also that ascended up above all the heavens that he might fill all things verse 11 and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ until we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the son of god and to a perfect man and to the measure of the status the stature of the fullness of Christ that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in a way to deceive but speaking in the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head even Christ from whom the whole body is fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love Bwana na tukuzwe haleluya Taka ujue kwamba Mungu kapeana vipawa na karama na akayapeana kwa manufaa ya wewe na mimi na kama kuna wakati ambao ambaye ime e, watu wakaanza kumika na kudhihirisha Yesu ni nani ni sasa mwalimu atakaye kufundisha mchungaji atakaye kufunulia neno mhubiri atakaye kufunulia neno lazima awe na ufuno wa Yesu so everything is about Jesus. The center stage is Jesus. The focus of the church is Jesus. Kuimba, kuabudu, kusifu, kutoa, mujiza, ishara, matendo za hajabu, mm? katika mwili wa Kristo Yesu. They must all focus on one thing, Jesus Christ. Then they must all unite in harnessing revelation of knowing Jesus. Kama mimi ndakuwa faida kwako katika mambo na wokovu, ni kwamba nime kufunulia Yesu ni nani? Kama sija kufunulia Yesu ni nani? Kama sita fanya kukufu kukufunulia Yesu then sija kusaidia kuna mfanyiko wa kasi sana 
I think I've heard it better, so you can step it down so that there will be no screaming. We are entering a stage. Now, Alambao Utashika Mambia Kiro Vizuri, there is a speed in the spiritual realm. Kuna Kasi. There is an element of speed in the spiritual realm over the entire nation of Kenya. Now, over the entire globe, Duniani Muzima. In the spiritual realm, ile, 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 ile mkono wa masekunde inenda mbio sana. Lafo mkono wa saa, ile ya madakika pia inenda mbio sana. Kazi yetu inenda kuisha. Taka niseme ni kiubiri hivi. Nika peleko katika ufunu na I think I'll be missing prophecies and prophetics all of them at the same time. Because our time is quite short. Na napongle ya muda siongle tu hii ya madekika ya Kenya. Even the spiritual realm. Kuna watu ambao munga metuweka hai kama mimi. And I was given one chance ya kuish so that I finish the work. Ilikuamba ni maalize kazi ya buwana. So it was 20... 12 ambako nikapelekwa katika ufunuo binguni so katika ufunuo in that dream in that vision nikaonyeshwa kanisa kanisa naonyeshwa nikaonyeshwa jengo la kanisa na lile jengo la kanisa mimi nilikuwa ndani nikaonyeshwa Nina chomoka nikitoka ya kanisa inje la jengo. Na nakimbia, na mali nakimbia, na onyeshwa inje kuna munara mkubwa. Munara huo ni mahindi, ama ni hindi. Maze. Vile mahindi unavunja una mahindi. So, hindi lenyewe mbae na maganda. So nikaona sasa imesimameshiwa monara na monara huo ni ya uh, dahabu. Monara mkubwa inashinda jengo leto la kanisa. Yale mahindi ni mahindi ambazo zimona rangi ya dahabu na ya diamond. So gold and diamond. So it was a monument. Huge monument. Kala rangi ya dahabu. Pamoja na almasi. Mas is diamond. Na nikawa na onyesho wa kazi ya mahindi. Now the seed. The seed. Ya mbao sisi husaga. The seed itself. Ikawa zimepangwa vile maindu pangwa kwa laini. Na ndiyo maana kila mtu wangalie. Maindi ya kwako ukivuna maindi de kob. Maindi ya nyewe. Uwe kila laini moja mebeba ngapi. So kuna ile ambayo jumla. Jumla yake. Imebeba maindi stini. Ama mbegu stini. Hybrid inabeba thema anini, labda na nene, iyo ni hybrid. Then kuna zile ambazo, average inabeba arubaini. Katumani inazabeba thela athini na kitu. Iyo ni maindi zile ndogo ndogo, but averagely is to do with around 60, 40 there. So, inatimiliza 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. Nikaonyesho wa malaika wa mungu, Wako kazi mahali pale. Na wanafanya kazi kwa bidii na kwa haraka sana. They were working with speed. Nikaonyeshwa ngazi. So ngazi ambayo nilionyeshwa imegemezewa kwenye hilo indi ambayo sasa ni kama jengo. It's like ni building 10. Na ni mahali penye wanafanya ujenzi. Na malaika ndio wajenzi, malaika hao wamo kwa haraka so napoongea hivi 
mtu shika picha ya construction site construction site mahali wanajenga gorofa kuna nyona koroga simiti kuna ile tinga tinga ambaye inakoroga inachanganya alafu kuna ile inabebesha ikipeleka juu kokoto ama mota iliyochanganywa so ikawa hiyo imefanyika na naona malaika wale wanachukua indi moja baada nyingine hiyo wanapanga kwa wanapanga kwa ile mapengo ya mahindi wanajaza jaza kila four lane inajazwa mahindi inajazwa 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 na ikawa kwamba imebaki na nikawa naonyeshwa yani my spirit was catching the element of speed agency haraka kwa kasi kazi yako ni imebaki so ikawa kuna mapengo imebaki eh? kuna mianya imebaki na kazi inaisha kuna kufunika ile mahindi wafunike ganda la mahindi funike mahindi wafunike na hii mahindi kamilike na chapter ifungwe malaika wakubwa ikawa kuna malaika wakubwa ambao wamo juu wala ambao ni kama nyapara mavazi yao ni dhahabu kanzu ya dhahabu kuanzia juu mpaka chini mili yao pia ni dhahabu nywela yao pia ni dhahabu rangi yao ya ngozi pia ni dhahabu na hao ndio walikuwa supervisors wanangoja kufunga hiyo chapter na mimi yule nimeondoka mpio ninakimbia naondoka katika jengo la kanisa nakimbia kwa lile kazi hayo mapengo yaliyosalia kujazwa ilikuwa ndio nafasi yangu ili nimalize kazi maganda ile ya mahindi ifunike na nikaona malaika wale kuna kutabasamu wakiningoja na ikawa kwamba kazi yangu nimebaki kuma ndio malize kazi na nikaonekana kana kwamba nachelewa so nilikuwa nakimbia kwa kasi sana niende nijaze yale mapengo yaliyosalia ambazo ni mapengo yalikuwa machache there were less than seven. there were around six katika kujaribu kuyahesabu in short kazi ilikuwa imebaki kuisha kiroho saa hii nasikia hali hiyo in the spiritual realm manabi wote Kenya watu wa kiroho wote Kenya intercessors wote Kenya na watu ambao Mungu amewatunuku kujua mfanyiko wa kiroho apostles wote ambao umetunukiwa kuweza kupambanua hewa ya kiroho the environment in the spirit utajua chenye nasema sasa there is an agency in the spiritual realm there is a haste kuna speed agenda ya Mungu inaenda kifungana that's why revival is knocking revival ndio imeanza na chenye nazulia revival hii kushika kasi ni judgment kuna judgment katika Kenya ambayo ijaisha kuna judgment ya Mungu juu ya kanisa ambayo ijaisha kuna judgment ambayo inakula taifa na dunia ambayo ijaisha na inaondoka kwa awamu na revival inaingia pia kwa awamu na unaposikia bwana naongea when you hear the lord speak na sauti ya ukali the voice ya Mungu itabadilika sauti ya Mungu kuanzia sasa inaende kibadilika the voice of god will be affirmative the voice of god will be authoritative the voice of god will be kingly sauti ya bwana itakuwa ni sauti kama ya mfalme decreeing because kazi hii kuna mambo lazima ambayo Mungu hatavunja maandiko that they must take place one is revival over the nation of Kenya the revival over the county of Eldoret and was in issue the revival that will also cover the entire globe dunia mzima and mambo haya Mungu ako very serious they are in the calendar of God bwana asifiwe sasa Mungu anakupa watu ambao 
ama alikupa watu ambao wanakusaidia ili ndani yako kuna mazingira there is an environment ndani yako ya roho yako ambayo inakusudiwa iweze kupambanua majira na wakati kama hauna pole sana kama hauna pole maana revival itakupita sauti ya Bwana itakupita mapenzi ya Mungu itakupita utabaki hivyo kama lutu akiangalia mawe ya chumvi mke wa lutu i want you to be sensitive na inatoka maana na sababu kwamba katika ukuaji wako kama mkristo kuna kitu lenyimwa kuna kitu hukupata dhaza kuna watu kujipata hell if in case ujipate how to make binguni tafuta pasta wako mapasta wote ambao walikubiria tafuta wao kama uko na wao kwa hell na ongea hivyo kwa kuna watu katikati yetu wameamua hawataki barabara ya binguni wameamua nimewaombea nimewahubiria nimewanenea nimewabembeleza lakini wamekataa maana ta bwana ameona nimejaribu wanajazwa roho tena wanaanguka wanaokoka tena wanaanguka wanakuja kanisani wanaonekana kwa serious na Yesu tena wanachoka wanarudi nyuma bwana akanambia unakumbuka vision yenye likuonyesha kuna watu wakitembea hapa duniani wana alama wana esta kwamba hawa binguni waingi Neema yao isha isha. Kinachosalia ni wao tu wakufe waingie kuzimu. Kuna watu hapo duniani sasa. Na nafasi yao ama siku yao ya kuokoka na kumkubali Yesu, waliigura, waliikata. So what they are doing on the face of the earth is just a formality. Wanaishi lakini wanangoja tu kuingia kuzimu. Siku wataingia mulione elevation hawa ndio wataongezewa another star kwamba sasa wameingia lakini hapa they are rejected kama ni wewe i don't know what to say maana ajenda ya Mungu sasa inaenda mbio inaenda mbio kuna watu ambao Mungu anawagura ama atawagura kwa jili kwamba unafanya mzaha na wokovu so you pretend you are saved you are not saved we know you are saved but god knows you as you are not saved ukiingia kuzimu maana huko mimi hautanipata wale ambao walichangia wewe kutokuwa na heshima ya Yesu kutokuwa na heshima ya Mungu kutokuwa na hofu ya Mungu please malizana na wao huko Bwana asifiwe haleluya malizana na wao wapi na usemi that is in, in just in case upoteze uh, road map <laughs> ya kwenda binguni just in case ufanye makosa ya kushika barabara ya highway hiyo barabara ni pana ina mastare hiyo barabara ya highway ya kwenda kuzimu ina raha ina fashion ina kiburi ina tamaa imejawa na maringo na majivuno bidii ya, ya kufanya watu wakujue ndio hiyo barabara barabara you want to prove a point ndio hiyo barabara barabara ya kujipenda Everything is about me. Kila kitu ni kunihusu mie na mambo ya Mungu umekunja mkono. Barabara ya highway. Siwezi mpea Mungu na kanisa la Mungu kwanza maana sijalipa rent, maana sijafanya mavazi, maana sijafanya mavazi, maana sijafanya mavazi. So God, I borrow your tithes. Barabara highway. Kwamba Mungu naelewa mambo haya, you know it. God knows. So I'll be using rent 
na nadhiri ya Bwana sitalipa saa hii nitailipa wakati ule mwingine nitajitoa wakati ule mwingine when things are better so for now god understand haiwe nyimbo ambazo ningetakana ni imbe saa hii bado sione kama kanisa yetu standard yake imefika juu mahali ambapo naweza imba maana mimi na level ya juu so nitakuwa na ngoja in the meantime wacha kanisa ijinue kwanza wewe haiwe siwezi kuimba saa hii maana bado sijatosha na sijaonwa sija naogopa so nikai kai kwanza uende atakuwa mtu mzuri so in the meantime kazi ya Mungu aisonge mbele maana wao wamegura kuimba haiwe siwezi kuwa asha saa hii siwezi kuwa mhubiri saa hii siwezi jitoa pesa saa hii siwezi kuwa sanchi chwari kipa saa hii siwezi saidia uinjilisi saa hii mimi siwezi maana saa hii bado mimi ni duni i am a small man yet kazi ya Mungu inajikokote kikongoja aisonge maana nafasi yako jafanya wewe material umejigeuza kuingia highway Nawaambieni Kuna watu hawajajua sura ya Yesu ile upande mwingine The other side of Jesus Aujui There is a dimension of Jesus ambayo mimi nilifunuliwa siku moja One nikaonyeshwa rapture Kurudi kwake Yesu na ikawa watu wote wako busy nikaonyeshwa vile watu wamo shughuli kila mtu shughuli zake town nikaonyeshwa kila mtu kwa biashara zake na Yesu mwana wa Mungu ameshuka watu haumuone uso wake mzima umetanda angani the entire face of the Christ Jesus ndio ma, ndio mawingu haya and I remember that day uso wa Yesu rangi ambayo nilionyeshwa ya mawingu was orange orange kama hiyo ndio ilifunika ndio uso wa, wa Yesu imefunika the entire sky na alikuwa ameshuka karibu sana uso wake unaangalia uso wake ulejawa tu judgment ilikuwa na hasira that's the face of Jesus that I saw Na nikawa nimeangalia nikaogopa nikaanguka kifudi fudi na kilio changu maana nikawa naona na e, kwanza nimelala kifudi fudi that me kifudi fudi ni uso wako umelala chini Sama I have that girl Sitoseba Naambia pawa ya Mungu iko hapa sasa tafadhali wengine mkae macho tu kama hao mnawasaidia Naye mwandoka na Mungu ajamalizia. Anto se babu ya ntola. Ni anto se kuntala. Babu ya sintala. Ayanda la lambo likitala. Uya anto la la sirabu. Iki anto la la sitala. Mamo yanto sibamu Tala la sikira ba Uso huu ambao niliuona nikawa nimelala chini Na ikawa sehemu yangu ingine inalia ikiambia watu Tubuni 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 maana Yesu yuaja Hiyo ni sehemu yangu ingine ambayo niliona inakimbia kiambia watu watubu ila hali sehemu yangu moja niliona nime, nimelala sakafuni kwa hofu ya Mungu uso wake nisiuangalie sauti yangu nyingine ikawa inawaambia watu repent now repent now 
for the Messiah is here. Na naona hali hiyo ni kama ndio hali ambayo inaenda kufanyika. Nimewaambia taifa la Kenya ikafika mahali penye sometimes unasikia hutaki kuomba tena. Maana wa Kenya ni watu wagumu. Taifa la Kenya ni watu wenye shingo ngumu. Watu wenye vichwa kubwa. Bai mejao na hekima ya dunia na sauti ya Mungu hawataki. Kiasi kwamba mtu na nabii akikuja na ujumbe wanamkagua kagua na madharao. Mejao na mafarisayo ambao ni maaskofu wakubwa eh, na wasomi mm, na waandishi. Bwana ndaka wajio litoka wapi na unaenda wapi na nani alikupea hii? Hao ndio Yesu amekasirika na wao. Na leo hii kanisani tuna watu kama hao ambao wanacheza na huduma, wanacheza na mwito. Sema Mungu kama unipei kazi, hata hii umeniitia sioni. Naimba paje rent, naimba nitalipaje nyumba. Mm? Nitahubiri nitakulaje? Na kuna watu wameogopa kuhubiri maana unaoangalia wahubiri wana shida sana. So unaogopa shida zao. So umeamua he utanikaa na kibarua. Highway. Barabara hii ya kuzimu. Naambia mambo ni nywe. Hapo umeamua hiyo barabara. Endelea. Lakini wala ambao umeamua kwa Yesu. Jitoe. Jifunge kiuno. Twende kazi. Wala ambao utajipata hiyo highway. Ukishaingia kuzimu maana huko sisi utatupata mapasa wote ama, ama walimu na huduma wote ambao walichangia wewe kuingia barabara hiyo. Please maalizana na wao pale. Na unajua ukishaingia pale hakuna kutoka. Wala ambao umekataa toba, umekataa kuacha dhambi. Na dhambi nikiongelea siongelea usharati peke yake. Naongelea pia kiburi. Naongelea pia kuwa mtu msumbufu. Mungu anakuambia leo, fanya hii unakataa. Mungu anakuambia, zingatia hii unakataa. Sauti ya Bwana, unapingana unaambia Mungu, Mungu, confirm confirm. Kuna watu ni mara ya 40 bado naambia Mungu confirm. There will be no more confirmation maana hii inakuangalisha labda ndio ya mwisho. Ni ubiri ama ni siubiri? Nitumike ama nisitumike? Ni toe ama nisitoe, ni peana ama nisipeane, ni washe ama nisiwache, ni washe ushiano huo ama nisiwache. Ni situbu. Ah watu, there will be no more confirmation that God will give you kama ulikuwa na ngoja. Maana hii ambayo nakupatia, hii ndio ya mwisho. So if you are still asking God to confirm, utabaki ukiomba Mungu Mungu confirm. Lakini masaya inaenda. Muda unayoyoma. Kipindi kinakwisha. Lakini wewe maombi yako ni Mungu confirm. Mungu confirm. Hakuna hata malaika ambaye atakubalika, ambaye atakubali kuja kukuletea confirmation. Maana kituma naambia baba na baba sule nilishapeleka. Naonyesha records. Dazae kuna watu ambao there be no more confirmation from today for you. tunaenenda katika hali chukulia mambo ya Mungu kwa uzito tunaenenda katika hali ya kutohofu sauti ya Bwana kwa ajili ya tumjui Yesu hatumjui Mungu na itabidi kwamba Mungu angalau atufanyishe sisi Tukuwasilishie Yesu huyu ni nani? Kanisa lake inamaanisha nini? What is the meaning of the church? Haleluya. Haleluya. Kanisa ni nini? What is the church? Some of us think the church is a building. The church is a meeting place. The church is a place for prayer. 
Someone I will have the church. Is a place to go and cry. Well, all those ones also, they are part of the definition of the church. But they could just be a little bit of the, uh, the uh, definition. So, Kanisa, ni nyumba ya mungu, ni nyumba ya madabihu, ni maala patoba, ni maala pa mkusanyiko na buwana, ni maala mba unaongea na buwana, ni maala pa makutano, na mbingu. Ni maala pa mahombezi. Ni maala pa malisho na ingia pale kulishwa. Ni maala pa, ku, pa hukumu the place of judgment. Judgment either to live or to die. To be healed. To be made whole. Hallelujah. The church. So kwako kanisa ni nini? So unapo kuja hapa, kuja, na lazima ujue ni nani unaenda kukutana nae. So watu wajuu kwamba, kanisa, takana nyesha sura ya nane, sura ya yesu. Sura ya yesu nafana naje, takana uyone kanisani. Uwane upendo wa yesu, lakini pia, unazona gadabu za yesu. Kuna siku nikacheza na karama kakata kutoa unabii kanisani. Nilikuwa nasikia mimi ni mwoga. Sijasoma sana. Mimi ni mtu mdogo sana katikati ya watu ambao ni wasomi. Kanisa nilikuwa ndani kanisa ambayo imejaa maprofesa. Hmm? Watu ambao majaa THD. Divinity. Theology. Kanisa hii imejaa kuwa na Wayahudi, Wazungu. Waalimu wa neno, so mimi kati yao I was nothing. Sikuwa kitu. Then mungu ananipatia ujumbe niwapatie. Ordinarily, ungeambia Mungu Mungu, ukiniangalia na hawa Mungu, uko sawa kweli. Si watu hao na stahili wapeana ujumbe kama hiyo. Mbona hujawapatia? Kina somo jua kuna watu ambao hauna hiyo neema kama ya ya nabii Nabi aliye aliye asi akakimbia kena tashish so mmemjua nabii wewe namjua alikuwa na sauti kwambia Mungu siendi maana watu hao ni watu wabaya sana hata baada ya kuteswa akakubali akamaliza mission akakaa chini ya mti tena bado na sauti ile ya kuambia Mungu mbona amefanya hivi anaitwa Jonah so lipo ambiwa pale ni peyane ujumbe. Nilikuwa satu sauti ya yona, ama nema ya yona, ya kuambia mungu, no. So nilibebwa na nguvu za mungu kutoka hapo, nikajipata kwa madhabahu. Maa nilikuwa nimepanga vile nitakimbia, nitoke kanisani, nipote. Na kuna mahali gadabu za mungu ilinishika. Kuna vile mungu ilinishika mahali ambamu hata waleo sijui ni wapi, but I hope in heaven wakati baba na kuja utanonyesha ni wapi ulinishika hapo. Mana na juonga yuma na nato miatanyonyesha ni wapi. Mungina amba na ezaelewa ni hapi walishikiwa ni Jacobo. Who goes by the name Jeshurun. Pia kuna mali alishikwa. He left the limp. Nikajua kuanzia sikio kipawa ucheze. Niliashilia unabi na ufuno wa mungu kwa madhabao kama nalia na mwanaume kulia mbele ya kanisa mzima siku hiyo ndio aibu liisha nililia nikitoa unabii so kuna watu ambao sura ya Yesu pande huo mwingine bado haujui bado unajua Yesu ni warehema Yesu wa neema Yesu wa msamaha Yesu mwenye upendo Yesu ambaye ni tamtam Yesu ambaye ni peremende Yesu ambaye ni Ananga ubaya. Yesu ambaye ni mpole. Ataki maneno. Iyo nae ni sawa. Mana huyo bado ni Yesu. Walakini. Kuna sura ya Yesu ambaye haujui. So marika sema. Na mungu akatupa. Mitume. Akatupa. Walimu. 
akawapeni nyinyi na mimi pia mmoja wao wachungaji wainjilisti wengine wao ni manabii na wao wamepewa kazi ya kufunua Yesu kwako wa kufunulia Yesu ni nani Yesu sura ya Yesu wa kufunulie wa kuonyeshe upande zote za Yesu that they be instrumental in unveiling and revealing to you the real Jesus ukimjua huyu Yesu muimbaji hautacheza na uimbaji muombezi hautalala wakati ndakana uombe intercessor hautalala wakati ndakana uombe mwanjilisi hautakalia mahubiri wakati ndakana upeleke mahubiri mahali watu wenye mapesa ujue unaweza nyima vitu zingine lakini pesa umepewa na hujapewa pesa pekee wewe ukule maana hautakuwa na furaha ya hiyo pesa furaha yako ni pesa hiyo peana kwa huduma ifanye kazi. Alafu sasa baada hapo ukikula unasikia tu mzuri. Umefanya mission. Hiyo karama niliwahi hiyo karama nilianza nayo na safari ya wokovu. The financier of the gospel. Wangapi wenyu leo hii kipesa umesaidiwa na Mungu lakini umeikalia. Na kazi ya Mungu na zorota, eh? Huduma ya Mungu na zorota haujui picha ya Yesu bado haujui Yesu bado haumjui naomba ufike mahali ambapo utasema hmm? that i want to know Jesus that i want to know him plus the power of his resurrection ni mjue pamoja na nguvu za uvuvuo wake nguvu hiyo ya uvuvuo ndio nguvu hii tumepewa bwana asifiwe na Yesu huyu ametupa zote kama utamjua Yesu Rasil mali zote uku wote nguvu zote ukamlifu wote na hali zote na mifanyiko yote imo ndani yake Yesu So watumishi hawa kama watafanya kufunua Yesu sawa sawa mbeleze kwako kuna watu ambao pia mbinguni hawataingia Mapasta ambao that's why pasta ambao mnafanya kazi ya Mungu atunafanya kazi ya Mungu part time. How can you do God's work part time? Na wewe ni mchungaji. So washirika hawapati wa, mshauri because God's work can never be part time. You cannot do God's work part time. Someone amua wengine kwa kazi ya Bwana. Mimi niliamua na leo hii naifanya. Maana kuna watu ambao unachangia wao wasingie mbinguni so au nachangiaje na waombea mimi nawahubiria katika kuwahubiria unahubiria 20% na unawanyima 80% maana 80% kuna mali unahitajika so watu wana kumjua Yesu kidogo kidogo Yesu nusu nusu Yesu kidogo kidogo Ukiwaona wakristo ambao kwa waganga wameenenda ni Yesu kidogo. Uliifunuliwa Yesu kidogo achiwa nafasi ya kujaza vitu zingine. Sasa uenda kwamba katika safari ya wewe kutembea kwa wokovu hujapata mtume wa Mungu maana kuna kazi ama kuna sehemu ya wewe kukamilika kwa huduma ya mtume ama uende kawa haujapata huduma na mchango na mfanyiko wa nabii so Yesu funuliwe kupitia mtazamo wa kinabii Yesu afunuliwe kwako kwa mtazamo wa mtume That means kuna neema Mungu amewekeza ndani ya mtume akufunulie sehemu ambayo neema ambayo inaenenda kwa hali za uchungaji injilisi ama unabii haiwezi kufunua Someone receive revelation in Jesus name Ukiona 
haufanye vema katika safari ya wokovu kuna mali haukuiva na ukubali maana ukikubali ndio unaweza saidiwa kina ukinyeta uwe mgumu uwe sumbua kwaambie kuna malaika ambao wana patience kuna malaika ambao wanaza hawata ka wanaambia baba call me back niite tena bwana nirudi akuondoke so kiona unasumbuana kwa hii safari ya ya imani kwamba hii safari ya imani unasumbua na sumbuana ni kwa ajili kuna sehemu ya Yesu hujafunuliwa kuna sura ya Yesu hujafunuliwa na kuna watu wanana na sura moja tu mtazamo mmoja one dimension of revelation of Jesus is what you have you are stubborn you are proud you are arrogant hata Asha anaweza kukupa kukuambia unaweza kaa hapa maana wewe ziambiwa kitu mchungaji haezi chukua simu akupigie jua anaogopa kukuuliza unaweza changa pesa zaidi ya mradi unaweza amka ukuje ukeshe kanisani can you forgo your night tomorrow be among us the watchers unaweza kaa kwako hata kama ni kwako lakini usi, usilale waombe kanisa je kuna watu ambao mtu wa Mungu anaweza kupigia simu hiyo kwa ajili gani kwa ajili huu kuna mali hujaiva itakuwa ni story kwa watu wengine kwa hiyo pastor yeye huwa anataka alale na wengine anawamusha wasilale yeye ni waina gani yeye anataka alale wengine wao nyamjui kama huwa analala ama silale bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe mimi nataka leo ni kunyoroshe na mahubiri na tukimalizana upigwe pasi uwe na sura so that tukitembea mavazi yake inajulikana huko ni mbele na huko ni nyuma <laughs> bwana asifiwe haleluya mwai kuna watu amevaa mavazi ambayo hujui kama mbele ni nyuma <laughs> ama nyuma ni mbele have you seen them <laughs> haleluya have you seen some people na pia kuna mavazi ukivaa they don't define forward or backwards pasi ikushukie haleluya na baba ninyoroshie kwa watu hapa ninyoroshie nataka kwenda binguni lonely tunapiga fuleni wanasema haya tano mate melia haya washika wote wa mtume nabii onyango pangeni fuleni so mimi nimekaa mbele ya baba so naanza ku imagine line mrefu ya 100 kilometers then nasikia tu malaika mmoja anamwambia ah onyango mtumishi hebu angalie kwa nyuma niangalie nyuma nipate mapengo yani foleni ni kama ya kura kura ya watu wachache wachache sitaki hiyo nataka nikiangalia nyuma naona umati umeenda umeenda umati huo nataka iwe ni nyinyi bwana asifiwe haya na baba ribayanto seba kuna mtu anaenda saizi anaenda saizi binguni anda kwa na foleni ya onyango mali imefika saa hii saa hii baba moto wako yeye ni upande wa kushoto katika jina la Yesu kwa vile pale wamekaa vibaya sana <laughs> pale hawajakaa vizuri nafikiri viketi ni vya chuma na watangukia tendo utajipata nje wewe ndio number one. ulijiweka number one. sasa kuja ungeje unge kwa katikati ya wao ungeponea haya kuja hapa sitala la sobabu kutaba yanto la la kura kuyanta maandiko ya bwana yasema na mungu hataibisha mtumishi wake bwana siwe in isaia he is the lord that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messenger so lord it be so now so our sister tunakuambia kwa heri maana wewe utaka kwa hii ibada sasa ataonyeshwa ataonyeshwa siku alionyesha nyumba yangu mahali imefika kazi yangu na mimi naomba kwamba bwana niwe na fuleni ya watu ambao kweli wanaamini mbingu na tunaenda baba si kule 
Baba umuonyeshe mambo hayo. Angalau baba ikanitia moyo. Na initie pia kasi ya kuhubiri. Watu wengi waokoke, wakombolewe. Asa baba nechukulia huyo tu. Aende safari hiyo binguni. Baba naomba kwa idadi ya mambo utamuonyesha. Specifically Lord I'm asking that he may, he may be shown ni wapi tumefika baba aone kazi dio mbele zangu ndio maana pia naye asaidiane kuhubiri ni wapi ni ni umbali gani sitaba yanto kuraba labla sitaba kuri antola kuri anto seba haya katika jina la Yesu baba mshike mkono roho bwana mchukua huyo mkono aende ili kwamba watu hawa watafunguliwa wajue mambo nami pia bwana pate faraja katika jina la Mungu Baba Bwana na Mungu Roho Mtakatifu Tunafika vizuri tazalishwa watu ambao watakuwa financiers of the gospel watu ambao watakuwa wafadhili wa huduma hapa hapa watu ambao wataelewa kuwa broke ndio nini watu ambao kama kanisa na mahitaji utalia utakuwa unalia machozi nyumbani au utakuwa na amani paka mambo hayo kanisani itatuliwe au utapumzika paka kanisani mambo itimizwe watu ambao hata chakula kukula hautasikia utamu wala furaha because kanisa kwa bwana kuna kitu ijafanyika sawa sawa kuna mahitaji na watu hao Mungu anawainua kwa madhabahu haya kwa sababu wananyinulua watu watatu kwa sababu wananyinulua watu watatu Watu ambao watachifunuliwa Yesu watasikia uchungu kama kanisa ina mahitaji watasikia uchungu kama kanisa mambo haisongi So watu ambao mambo ya Mungu haujaenenda sawa sawa ni kwa ajili kuna kuna sehemu ama kuna kuna ufunuo ambazo hukupatiwa au kufunuliwa Yesu So Yesu huyu ili kwamba siku hiyo usifanye fujo mbele ya Bwana usifanye makelele labda namna mahakamani kuna watu wanafanya makelele unajua hii mahakama humu duniani unazababa show na urushia judge uharibu kila kitu kotini kesi yako sisikizwe hiyo naweza fanya duniani lakini binguni huwezi <laughs> Bwana asifiwe mimi nimwahi kwa ma, nimwahi kuwa prisoner ni mwae shikwa nikaona vile mwae rundikwa na prisoners number one, unatulewa kiatu kimoja na mshipi so unaenda kuonekana unaenda unapelekwa pale kuna watu mara star kuna watu anaamua leo kutaharibika unasikia wanasema leo kutaharibu mambo wanabeba cho maana hajapewa haki so tena azue fujo mahakamani sasa anabeba mkojo ata sprinkle kwa watu sala meletwa mkae uko mbele ikifika tani yake ya kuongea bala aongee anamwaga kinyesi na makojo kwa watu paka jaja na hepa na file yote kimbia chambers maana kuna nuka cho so ili ku avoid mambo hiyo binguni ili mshirika wa revelation wizard wa ministry usifanye hiyo maana utaneribia sifa kule nazoleza na Yesu onyango huyu <laughs> ndio mshirika wako so stacky hiyo so leo hii Yesu na pena provision waambie mimi ni nani so god jesus reveals himself ananifanya kukufunulia huyu huyo Yesu nimfunue kwako so that siku hiyo binguni usiwe na excuse onyango wako niambia hii Onyango hakunifundisha hii. Onyango hakusema hii. 
sikujua hii kwa sababu sikufundishwa na kuambia utakuwa na cha kusema siku hiyo you love nothing to say utaangalia onyango uangalie Yesu maana siku baadaye hata watu wabaya utakuwa na opportunity ya kumwona Yesu mwana wa Mungu uso kwa uso siku ya judgment wote hata watakao hata wale ambao ni wakwenda kuzimu utakuwa na one given opportunity ya kumwona Yesu mwana wa Mungu na you will have the opportunity of fair judgment fair judgment plus na faili yako lakini cha kushangaza ni kwamba amen hautakuwa na kitu ya kusema maana onyango huyu anakupatia kila kitu so tafadhali hakuna kitu utasema kunihusu pale kama utasema chochote tuseme nyewe nina staili kwenda kuzimu maana huyu mtumishi wa nyango alinihubiria atakanda hiyo naonyesha kuna watu wataenda tu bae kujiamulia nimekubali kidogo na watu ambao nisipohubiri sahihi sawa sawa watazaleta shida siku hiyo utaniharibia sifa so wewe ndio unafanya na hubiri haya kufunuliwa Yesu kwako so ndani ya huyu Yesu kumwa na vitu vyote tunavyohitaji so upande wa karama na vipawa hmm? na mwito lazima Yesu kafunuliwa katika hali hiyo so inabidi kwamba tufanye matendo za ishara kama hizi wazo meziona maana hayo ni matendo za ishara ambazo yametokana na karama na kipawa ambaye nimepewa dhihirisho la Yesu sasa huo ni upande wa Yesu pia so muelewe ni nani ako nyuma ya matendo kama haya who is behind such manifestation jesus So we are manifesting Jesus by such performances. So we part mepewa so kama mimi karama moja wapo ni karama ya kuf- matendo ya muujiza. So kuna watu ambao matendo ya muujiza kwako ukishayaona na wao umekaa unaona zikitendeka utalia machozi. Utasikia nguvu za Mungu zimekushika. Utasikia hofu ya Mungu imekuingia. Sema Mungu kumba uko. Kumba Mungu uko. So Lord you are here. So Lord you are there. Uta utaanza kupokea Yesu mahali umekaa. Utakuwa na hofu ya Mungu. Na utabadilika jinsi gani unaenenda mbele za Mungu. Manifesting Jesus by the gifts So muujiza unaziona hapa kanisani. Wale ambao mnaona muujiza haya, wale ambao mnaona matendo haya ya karama, wale ambao mnaona viketi vyote kanisani vinavunjika, maana watu wote malala kanisani. Baada ya kuyaona mambo hayo, unafikiriaje? Maana hizo viketi vingine ndio kana watu mnunue. There are already 50 something zinaelekea 100. Sema kumbe ni kumbe hiyo nguvu ni nguvu ya Mungu. Kumbe kuna roho mtakatifu. So he, this thing about Jesus is real. Kama wewe mama wa hayo unayaona lakini haikutishi utingiziki then you're like okay I'm coming again for another show. Highway. Au mjue Yesu. Nilikuwa naomba Yesu nikamkasikia nikiomba baba leo ibada katika Kenya hii amua kwamba utakaa kwa ibada ya Revelation Wisdom Ministries na akakubali and he came and here he is here mwana wakati roho nguvu za roho mtakatifu imewajaza watu i had to ask god for permission can i preach mlikuwa mnasikia nikiuliza baba nafasi naweza hubiri mwana roho mtakatifu amejaza watu bado watu ndio hawa wanajazwa roho watu bado wana wanasifu kwa ndimi those were tongues ambazo wale ambao Mungu aongeze watu ambao mnaweza tafsiri walikuwa wanasifu 
walikuwa wana sifu namna bwana ulio ulivyo wa ajabu how marvelous lord you are how glorious lord how wonderful wengine walikuwa wanajiona na baba sister hili sister hili sister hili katika hizo ndimi Wengine walikuwa wanashangaa, "Why Mungu, you mean you can come? You mean God, you can come?" Siwezi kusahimili uwepo wako. That's what someone was also saying in tongues. So mimi nikashindwa kuendelea, so I was just there. I will only plead with God, God. You still want me to preach? Cause the entire service. <laughs> Watu hao wamelewa Roma takatifu. Can I sit preach? I had to beg. Baada alikuwa radi kuendelea mubaki mmelewa hivyo na service hiyo ni service ya watu wamelewa Roho Mtakatifu. Of course that is still a service. Hallelujah. Baada hiyo ni ibada. But in anirenda it renders me useless. I'll just be there. Kuangalia the manifestation of Jesus. Nione the irisho la Yesu katika hali hiyo. Na wale ambao wao huko leo Roho Mtakatifu ilikuwa ni ubaki ukiangalia uone the irisho manifestation of who of Jesus by the gifts of the